be upfront with you. This video has the potential to be very controversial because you either agree with it or you don't. Now, I'd like to thank you if you're a subscriber of mine. You're already in the mindset where you've come to this realization yourself, so you'll probably agree. However, I recognize not everyone is there yet and it's gonna be a hard pill to swallow. If you think this is gonna be touchy for you, I'm gonna give you the next five seconds to click off. If you're still here, now you gotta watch the whole thing. So to give you an idea of what sparked this topic, I had a conversation with someone at the gym. Admittedly, this person has been through it. They have had some unfortunate things happen to them, except they have now taken it on as their personality. I don't know when it became a thing, but it really feels like more and more people are taking on the victim mentality these days. Woe is me, everything's always happening to me, life is so unfair. Life is very unfair. Let's get that straight. Things happen to everybody. The difference between someone who has a victim mindset and someone who has moved on from it is that the person who has moved on has come to realize that life is not happening to you. Life doesn't have a personal vendetta against you or anyone else for that matter. Life just happens and it's all about how you choose to move forward. Are you going to sulk about your situation? Are you going to complain to anybody that'll listen to you? Are you going to bring it up every chance you get? It's all about how you choose to respond to your situation. That's the only thing you have in your control, how you respond, how you react, what your thoughts are. You can't control what happens to you, but you get to decide what happens next. You need to shift gears and think about what is it that I can do from here on out? How can I fix my situation? So with this person that I spoke to at the gym, I tried offering different solutions for them so that they had options. You know, it was just like kind of brainstorming and well, have you tried this? Have you thought of that? You know, I get some feedback from them and then I'd come up with another solution. And every single time I gave them something, instead of thinking, oh, maybe I could try that, all I got in return were excuses why they can't do that, why they can't try it, why it won't work for them. Well, first of all, if you're not even going to try something, how do you know it doesn't work for you? And this victim mindset thing has become a very frustrating topic for me, especially when I come across someone in life who harbors it. Because I admit, I used to have victim mentality myself. Back before I finally decided to pick up myself and get to work and make some changes in my life, I did have victim mentality. I thought life was so unfair. Everything was happening to me and I was just on a constant string of bad luck. I thought everyone else just had it easier. I came up with all these excuses of why I wasn't in a certain place in life or why I was in the state that I was. It really takes a level of being fed up with yourself where you're just tired of your own bullshit and you're just like, this is enough. Enough is enough. I need to make some changes. I can't keep living like this. Knowing that I was able to get myself out of that mentality, start taking accountability for where I was in life because of actions I took or didn't take, I have found it that it is very frustrating when I come across people who act like they want help, who act like they want a helping hand in getting out of their situation, but then refuse to listen. And the only thing I can come up with is that they enjoy being the victim. <sighs> I can already see it now. Comments saying, well, what about this situation? Or what about that situation? No one asked for this. You can't blame someone for suffering through that. And here's the thing. No one is actually blaming the actual victim for what happened to them. I think it's understood that a bad event happened to you, regardless of how bad, how extreme, how negative, how life-changing, this, it really doesn't matter what the situation is, what happened. Because what I'm talking about can apply to anything. And I know some people are gonna take this so literally. No matter what the situation is, it's recognizing that you are not to blame what happened to you, but it's also recognizing what happens moving forward is on you. How are you going to react? What are you going to do? Are you going to go to therapy? Are you going to come up with solutions that you can act on? Are you going to act? That is what I mean by moving forward is on you. 
You control your reaction. You control your thoughts. And the thing is, it's not an easy thing. Taking accountability for your actions, whether it's how you got there or what you're going to do to move forward, it's not an easy thing. It's a mixture of accepting that you have faults or had faults that got you into the situation you're in. And it's accepting responsibility to get yourself out of the situation. So many people want to place blame in what happened to them Instead of recognizing the fact that the only reason why they're still in the position that they are in, it's because they haven't taken the action to move forward. What it comes down to is you're only a victim to yourself. You're only a victim to your own mindset. 